So earlier, I have removed a text that was being displayed just beneath each of these buttons. But in terms of, of the uh, user experience, in terms of improving user experience, it's important to display a text that uh, describes what the simple calculator is capable of and also the what the advanced cal calculator is capable of. So it's better to display here a brief message or brief text that describes what these uh, calculators are capable of. So what I'm going to do is that here in the uh, in the simple dot HTML, I'm going to copy. I'm going to copy this message. Remember this message. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to paste it in the index, specifically just beneath this uh, use simple calculator. I'm going to paste it here, and I'm going to also paste it beneath the use advanced calculator. And I'm going to change the text here. I'm going to say instead of this uh, this uh, dummy text, I'm going to say this calculator, this simple calculator is uh, or can add add uh, two numbers add let's add uh, let's say add subtract multiply and divide two numbers two numbers which is very important because we want to let the user know what this what this uh, simple calculator is capable of. Let me now save and head on over back to the browser and refresh. And as you can see now, we have here message, uh, a descriptive message that describes what this calculator is capable of. But the problem is with the design. First, we want to center this text, and we also need to add some space between this uh, text and the button. And we also want to display it in a an, in an alert to look better. So what I'm going to do is that here I'm going to add some classes. So I'm going to say, I'm going to add here the first class. I'm going to add the text center because I want to center the, center the text. And they also want to use the alert. I'm going to use alert and then alert hyphen primary, primary. And also I need to add space between this text and the button. So I'm going to say here margin top and then hyphen five. Now let me save and head on, head on over back to the browser and refresh. And as you can see now, it looks much better. Here it says, this simple calculator can add, subtract, multiply, and divide two numbers. And um, it looks amazing. Now we want to apply the same concept, the same design to the, to the advanced calculator. We want to add that a different text, but with the same design. So what I can do is that I can copy this, this tag with its content, and then I can paste it just beneath beneath the U, uh, use advanced calculator button so I can display it here I'm gonna I can paste it here and then all I need to do is that first I need to change the class here from primary to success success and then I need of course to change the message itself so the message here it should be different it should say something different depending upon what this advanced calculator is capable of so this advanced calculator this advanced calculator is uh, or includes or has several several advanced math um, functions functions that you can use such as sign cosine, uh, square root, and then etc. And we are done. Let me now save and head on over back to the browser to show you that it's going to look even better. As you can see, it looks amazing. And now this is our homepage. So once the user goes to our homepage, it's going to display these two buttons. So the user knows exactly where should he or she goes. So if, he, if the user is just uh, just wants simple calculations then the user can just click on use simple calculator if the user wants a advanced uh, wants to use one of the advanced functions he or she will be able to know first will be able to know what this calculator is capable of and then he or she will decide to go to the simple if the user decides to go to the simple it's going to take him or her to the uh, simple calculator or if the user decides to go to the advanced, he or she 
would click on uh, advanced calculator and it's going to take him or her to the advanced calculator page and now our project is complete and we have a complete uh, web application uh, created by using um, Python specifically by using the Flask framework which is was and is an, an awesome uh, framework and it as, as you have seen throughout this course it's capable of creating a complete web application a calculator web application so now your your calculator is complete and you can deploy your project to a web server and you can let um, people uh, you can publish it and real people can come into your application and use your application.